If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. Brady's going to hand it off. It's for Ned. He's going to take it to the end zone. After 22 seasons and seven Super Bowl wins, Tom Brady is officially retiring from football. It was an honor, privilege just to watch you compete. Absolutely incredible career. Best ever do it. It's an unbelievable feat on his part, but what he's done for us is monumental and will um, transcend many generations. His wife of nearly 13 years, supermodel Giselle Bungeon, writing, I am in awe of your dedication and of everything you have achieved. You're the most dedicated, focused, and mentally tough person I have ever met. The storied athlete got his start at the University of Michigan, spent his first two years there as a backup. Tom Brady at pick 198 goes to the New England Patriots. Then in 2000, Brady was the 199th pick in the NFL draft. The New England Patriots gave him a shot that would forever change that franchise and the sport. There's nobody that's produced at his level, at his age, not in football, not at that position. He's done things that nobody else ever has in terms of productivity and longevity. He made a reference to you, which I thought was, was such so great. He said, I could never have made every Sunday without you. It's that simple. So what did you do to help Brady become the special player he was? And, and what do you think was the key to his longevity? Um, yeah, I think the key to his longevity, obviously, is his work ethic, um, you know, healthy habits, uh, and his winning mindset. And I think those are all things that we talk about you know, at TB12 and, th and through our TB12 method, it's just all, it's all part of it, right? We're working on, you know, being, you know, working on the physical body, the, the emotional body, the, the mental body. And so, you know, I think through our, our work together, through his training, through our, you know, manual therapy, all the, the, the body work that we've done to really prepare his body for, to be able to sustain the impact, um, you know, that the sport put on him over the course of, you know, these, all these 16 years together. Um, you know, I think that really, you know, goes towards talking about his longevity and why he was able to do it for as long as he was able to do it for. And I think, you know, people in the future are now going to be able to hear more from him and, and, and see more about, you know, how he did it and why he did it and, and, and the results of doing it. He definitely lives and breathes TB12 for sure. He's also big into meme stocks. But I'm wondering, what are the odds that he goes into broadcasting? Because he would be a huge get. I guarantee you every network will reach out to him if they haven't already within the hour. Front Office Sports is reporting that with Troy Aikman possibly leaving for Amazon, Fox Sports has been putting the feelers out on Brady. Now, if Brady does decide to sign a TV deal, it would likely be the richest one in all of sports broadcasting history, and bidding would be expected to start at $20 million a year, with him making more than Tony Romo. Now, we have yet to see what Brady wants to do next, but it could be be a good option. I think he's more likely, quite frankly, to run for president of the United States than to enter the broadcast booth. He doesn't want to be critical of his former teammates, of his friends. I think it's just way too small for a guy that's the greatest of all time. Can you imagine Michael Jordan in the broadcasting booth? No way. And I think he's gotten to the point to where he, you know, realized that he just wanted to spend some time with his family and, and give back. And when you Take the time with him and you see how committed he is to the things that he loves doing, which for 20 years was football. And um, for the season, he was so dedicated to his team and wanted to be the best for his teammates. And, you know, now, it, just like Tom said it, he goes, he wanted to take some time to reflect and uh, find a direction for his path moving forward. Talk to me about your good friend, Tom Brady. One, did you know he was going to make that decision? And have you talked to him? since the blockbuster decision at Rock. Let me, let me tell you what, when he does this stuff, he's quiet as a church mouse, man. He, he, he doesn't, you know, I, yeah. I, I was sending him texts. I was firing texts to him and his, his, he sent me back very cryptic text messages. So uh, he had me thinking he wasn't going to retire. Uh, so, so you know what I was doing? I, I was hammering him to come to Vegas and play for the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did he say? Did he, did he completely he shut it down? He, t he texted me back, ha, 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 you're amazing, is what he said when I, when I said, come to, come to the Raiders. Hey, it's, it's not a no. That's the way I look at it, right? That's a, that was my response. That's not a no. His commitment to physical greatness set him apart. Brady's retiring on top, the highest earning NFL player of all time. His longtime body coach, Alex Guerrero, joked on Instagram Tuesday that he's 
updating my resume after the announcement. Brady and his wife are notoriously health conscious. 80% of their diet is veggies and whole grains. He spoke to Strahan just last year about his journey. I know a lot of that has to do with the way you take care of yourself. For an athlete, your body is your asset. What I eat, what I drink, how I work out, all those things cumulatively add up. The 44-year-old launched his Brady apparel brand just last month. You know, Tom and I have actually talked about, you know, Michael and what Michael's done and how amazing he's done it. And so, you know, I think he's excited about post-football career. You know, he's got amazing businesses that he's involved in. Certainly, you know, he has a passion for health and wellness and, and sharing, you know, the TB12 method and what we've been able to, to start there and share that with the masses. Like, he wants people to know how to be able to do what they love doing for longer and how to be able to do it regardless of age. Obviously, he, he is a he has a very small piece, but is an investor in the UFC. Are we trying to get him to more fights. Are we going to see more of Tom now that he's got a lot of free time on his hands? Yeah, I hope so. But you know, Brady, Brady's not the type of guy that's going to sit back and, and I don't think he's going to have a ton of free time on his hands. He's already got other businesses that he's got up and running here in the last couple of years. Um, and, you know, he's super competitive. So he said, quote, the future is exciting. I'm fortunate to have co-founded incredible companies that I am excited to continue to help build and grow. We know that he was building his business empire even while quarterbacking. Talk to us a little bit about these companies and what you expect him to do now that he has a little more time on his hands. Yeah, well, most notably, and it's good to be here, he said it's a work in progress. I think, quite frankly, Tom Brady has no idea what's next. He just knows that he can't, in his words, do it as a 100% competitive commitment that he's given the game the last 22 years. So he knows it's really time to step away and focus first on his role as husband to Giselle and father to their three kids and then kind of figure out the business ventures. But to your point, he does name check those three companies that he co-founded, TB12, Autograph, and, and of course, the Brady clothing brand. I don't think he knows exactly what his time commitment looks like moving forward. You point to those on your screen. FTX is the one he did not name check, and that's his entry into the crypto space. When you decided to retire, you had made calls, mm -hmm. you had made, you know, relationships, and that's much what Brady seems to have done, like taking the time to think about the next. And I, and I think Tom's one of these guys who frames his life in different ways. Football was a part of his life, it's not his entire life. So now you see all the businesses and other things that he has going, mm -hmm. he's just going to transition over, and he's going to miss it. Like when I'm asked that question, I know he's going to miss yeah. football. I, I missed it. But after about three or four months and watching guys get hit like that, I said, I'm good. <laughs> and he will appreciate it more. His yeah. body will appreciate it. Yeah. Soon. In terms of staying around the game of football, I'd also rule out coaching. Way too big a time commitment. The only level at which I could see Brady staying around the game is as an owner. And that may be way down the line. I think it'd only be a team he feels personally connected to most notably somewhere around the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah, maybe the Patriots, maybe as a minority owner. Well, you know what, Dave, with about $300 million in career earnings, Tom Brady can do pretty much anything he wants in retirement. Yeah. Dave Briggs, thanks so much for and being with us. That's just his earnings on the field, close to half a right. billion when he incorporate his uh, endorsements. And his wife, Giselle, is worth even more. So, yeah, he can do whatever he wants to do. He was one of the best human beings that you could, you know, you could hang around. Truly humble, would give you the shirt off his back. Great teammate. Brady also expressed his commitment to his wife and three kids, writing in his retirement announcement that they are my greatest achievement. I always came off the field and home to the most loving and supportive wife who has done everything for our family to allow me to focus on my career. Football has centered me in so many ways. It's like such a singular purpose that I think when I don't have that, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me. And you all, a lot of people might have noticed, he has kind of that long message, retirement message. There's a point, he's writing, you're reading, reading, and then he, you come to this point, he says, Te amo, amor de mina vida. He's speaking in Portuguese directly to his wife, Giselle, mm -hmm. saying, I love you, love of my life. So that gives you just a little nugget there of him, how he just, he's been talking about his family a lot lately, how they were going to be a part of this. And one, just one more greatness note, the man has seven Super Bowl wins. That is more than any NFL franchise has in its history. Mm. That says something. Including the Patriots. Yeah. They have six. He got them all of those. Went to Tampa and got him another one. <laughs> <laughs> so he's even ahead of them. It's just remarkable what he's done. And now it's time to go home and spend time with the family. With the family. He sounds very he excited to do it. so. Yeah. yeah. Listen, this guy has given me 
my family, Patriots fans, uh, Bucks fans, 22 years of AFC championship, Super Bowls, nothing but winning and, and good times. So well-deserved retirement. And uh, I wish him all the best in, his, uh, in the next chapter of his life. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. So please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day.